Because of Missouri's Partnership for Hope, people with developmental disabilities now have access to services which promote independence long before they encounter a life crisis. This was not always the case. Meet three individuals and their families who would still be waiting to receive services if the Partnership for Hope had not come along. Norma Anderson and her grandmother Fern, as well as the twin brothers Nathan and Mitchell Sims and their mother Sandy. It gives me hope for her future. Um, the, the goal for her future is to live independently and that's why we're doing all this and it, um, I'm glad to have the help. It's really helped a lot as far as getting the boys out in the world. The taxi service comes and picks them up and it pays for that and takes them to do jobs or volunteer work or just gets them out of the house, which is a main thing with any child, with any adult with disability. What we've been trying to work on is how do we get to people earlier? How do we change the system from crisis to more of prevention? Well, both of them, they graduated last year and they would sit at the house, watch TV, play their video games, play on the computer, go stir crazy, just bored. Well, there's Nathan, he works here at Boone County Family Resources. Mitchell, he comes into town twice a week. He does volunteer work at the library. He has a personal assistant and she will take him and, and take him out in the community. I went to the library and stocked and shelved the bugs. Actually, it's really good for me. I I enjoy working. You know, after all, it's a little hard, but I work pretty hard for now. You know, all of the research shows that the earlier the intervention is, the effects of of a lack of communication and a socialization is ameliorated uh, as opposed to later on in life. I like it that they we uh, learn how to cook healthy meals and how to handle utensils properly and how to measure. And then she took a class here, uh, it was called Circles. Mm -hmm. And what did you learn in that? Uh, socialization boundaries and Similar. who are in the circle, that circle, who isn't. And so you learned a lot about relationships. Mm -hmm. and I have found that she learns better from others. She's uh, going to be working with her about uh, finances, how to reconcile uh, a bank statement. Judy will be working with her on all those things which are necessary for independent living. That's the approach we take. You know, engaging earlier. Um, it helps people become more um, independent, uh, more self-sufficient. They seem much happier. They're more content with what they're doing. Nathan enjoys coming to work. But they're more content, and when they're out doing stuff, they're definitely more happy. And she's learning. She, it, I can tell the difference in her. She is uh, a lot more talkative with other people and not so withdrawn. So I can definitely see that it has helped already.